it's a really good one this year. Um, I'd like to introduce Aaron Gent from Document. Um, he's the owner of a gallery and print shop in Chicago. Um, he'll talk a little bit more about himself, I guess. Uh, thank you so much. Well, hello everyone. Um, I'm Aaron Gent. Um, I am. Um, I run a space called Document, and so uh, I've been in Chicago for about 10 years, and um, I specialize in printmaking for contemporary photographers for museum and gallery exhibitions. Um, and then I also have an exhibition space that focuses on showing photo and video based work. Um, but there wasn't a lot of photography in this jury kind of choice, so I kind of went into a sculptural direction for the most part. Um, so, the four, the four artists that I kind of chose that I was interested in, um, I kind of chose them because they were kind of dealing, for me, dealing with material that didn't want to be the material it was using in a way. And so for me, it was like with, um, you know, the video installation, the two videos that are happening, like there are video, they are images, but they're trying to break down, they're trying to fall apart. They're not wanting to be videos, they're wanting to leave and be something else. And so that kind of was interesting, and I thought, you know, was a way to kind of pull this whole kind of show together. Um, and with um, the cardboard sculptures here, you know, they kind of want it to be, for me, it's like a cardboard, wants to be a box. It wants to be a good box and a safe box and travel. But really what this is, it just wants to almost in a way be like a tree stump and, or in a way be a rock. And it just doesn't want to be a box. Um, and um, with these graphite kind of drawings, even though they're labeled as drawings on paper, they're not drawings. They're like, they're drawings that in a way want to be paintings. Um, you know, it's graphite water mixed around so it's really just like it doesn't want to be what it, the material that is being used for um, and then the other paintings or the other pieces that I really kind of responded to were the studio paintings where they're really not a painting in a way but they're really just like I want to be a wall and I want to be a floor and I want to be oil paint or whatever paint on that wall and so those were kind of the four pieces that I chose um, and kind of added pieces around that kind of exhibition. And, and this idea of, you know, even with this sculpture on the ground where it's like, it's wood, but it's not because it's ceramic. And so it's wanting to be something that it can't be. Um, and so, yeah. So from there, I'm gonna go and choose my third, second, first place, and then the juror's choice. So the third place goes to Daniel Jossa. <laughs> And then the uh, second place goes to Luis Chaga. Uh, is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> um, and the first place goes to Samantha Haring. Haring? <laughs> and then the first place video artist goes to Chris Fendak. So cool, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, the title kind of slow burn, um, for me, kind of represents like, you know, I went to school at Columbia College and, you know, graduated in 2007. And I, I think, for me, I wanted this title slow burn to be kind of more inspirational in a way that it's like, yes, you're here, this is a jury show, you will graduate soon, but it's really a marathon, not a sprint. And this idea of the slow burn, working long and just keeping your head down. I think it's a, way, a great way to think of being an artist. Um, and that's where the title kind of came from. So, cool.